Hey, what's up guys? Books Nelson here back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about this new Dynamo set as well as the GOAT um, Julius Irving. And we'll also talk about this Carlos Boozer, which I believe is available in the Triple Threat Co-op from here on out, taking over for Wes Unseld, which I may be looking to do with Gamer Dad and Josh 2K while drunk on stream. We'll see if we'll see if we do that. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and start with these cards. So right away, we have a giant George Mirasan, uh, seven foot seven, and he's got 89 speed, which is absolutely outstanding. So let's go ahead and then a 93 point shot. So he looks really good, very complete badge wise. Obviously, that space creator would be not. Oh, wait a minute, amped. What are we talking about? Let's go back to uh, so uh, and, and last gen. Listen, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I definitely am primarily a next gen channel. If there's something I think of that's like really relevant to last gen, I'll bring it up. But for the most part, I, I'm not up on it. Although I do want to put a little more focus on that next year if the mobile is still last gen. Uh, and hopefully we can educate ourselves a little. We'll see what they do with the dribbling system. 2K is not talking about last gen at all right now. So we'll see what's going on. I will ask some questions about that. So let's see. So for current gen, he needs open looks and space creator. I would definitely give him both of those. And let's see animations wise. Oh boy, Evan Mobley base. That is scary it is on very quick and he does have isaiah roby upper isaiah roby is the only one and he's only <laughs> listen i'm a knicks fan i've never used isaiah roby i will say if you play my career they would throw this dude on the team all the time like he was getting heavy minutes tom thibodeau would never anyway moving on uh, he does have Jokic's hop jumper which is excellent and kyrie irving dribble style on george Mirasan was excessive these dribble moves are so out of pocket uh he has so many good dribble moves this is insane he looks crazy he looks absolutely crazy so yeah i mean outside of the jumper being slow he looks like he's really good. We'll see how slow it is, what that Roby upper does, because the upper does increase your speed dramatically, as Michael Jordan will tell you, right? So we'll see. But this card looks uh, mostly outstanding. And the thing to note is that even though he has a slow jumper, at seven foot seven, it's harder to contest, right? So it's like, it's not the same thing as if a point guard had that jumper. All right, so let's see. Animation-wise, I want to go straight. So he's got double quickly. What did he have before? What did Scalabrini have before? uh i want to see this but yeah because i didn't like scal shot before he had that utah base the manual quickly lower is going to make the shot very fast if you're used to quickly shot which i did eventually get used to quickly shot then it's fine it's totally fine it's not a big deal it's not terrible or anything he's six nine he uh he can play the three which is excellent sigs wise he looks mostly really good we are still getting these kobe bryant breakdown moves I want to talk to a dev and I want to know what they see in this. Like what, what you use it. All right. You use the move. I want to see what you guys do because uh, I'm not seeing it with the Kobe Bryant breakdown moves. Maybe I'm wrong guys. Maybe, maybe there's a Kobe Bryant breakdown moves wizard out there that is just killing people. But this move has plagued us all year. And I do not know why I've never seen anyone use it. And by the way, I don't even think it's the best breakdown move you can get from Kobe Bryant. They don't have the multiple between the legs. And I realize I'm ranting now, but it's the end of the year and we're getting Kobe Bryant breakdown moves. So I think, I, I, you know, it's allowed. All right. Jokic hop jumper is good. Pro two leaner is good. I mean, Scal honestly looks really excellent. Uh, that quickly base is really, really fast. If he has a Jamal Murray moving behind the back, he's, he's actually elite, which kind of surprises me uh, because his, I wasn't blown away by his pink diamond. It was fine. It was not a big deal, but uh you know this this actually looks really strong for for him let's see here so oh i didn't look at his badges let me look at his badges real quick so enamored with his animations he does need that space creator but outside of that i mean he's looking great stats wise i actually phenomenal 98 strength on a small forward this guy might legitimately be elite um i gotta take a look at this scal again if you can get used to that quickly upper it's the upper of quickly that i don't like the base is elite all right jonathan bender we're gonna go straight to this jumper see what you got Montrez Harold Oscar Robinson that should be pretty good who else has Harold lower uh this this is fine I think this is fine Bill Russell his problem is his upper I shouldn't even say problem because I don't think there's actually an issue with Bill Russell's shot it just looks funny but if you're used to it he's, he's actually a very good shooter in my opinion um hasn't failed me online and I used him quite a bit when when I was when you know during his time so I think this shot should be pretty good it's not, I don't think he's gonna be elite but it should be pretty good this is another good card. Pro 2 leaner, Jokic hop jumper. Kobe moving crossovers, absolutely outstanding. Chris Paul moving step back. You know, that's my favorite one. 
Obviously, the John Wall is excellent too, but the Chris Ball doesn't cause you turnovers when you move slightly at the wrong angle. I still see literal professionals do that <laughs> because there's that one angle if you do to John Wall when you're expecting a snatchback and you and you get that, he just runs out of bounds. It's really terrible animation. Um, so yeah, that I you know, this these dribble sigs basically couldn't be better. Trey escape. Uh, you know, some people prefer Kemba, but they're both absolutely outstanding. We gotta see what the breakdown moves are, but Jonathan Bender is definitely looking pretty good to this commentator right here. Uh, and again, he's 6'11 at small forward, although minor height reduction. Uh, he has been listed at seven foot in the past. Now he's at 6'11, but I do still think he'll be way up there and honestly could possibly replace some of your absolutely elite small forwards out there. I would definitely be looking forward to get this guy on my no money spent because I don't have a backup small forward. I think I just have a hundred overall Giannis. My backup is Jason Tatum, who I do like, but I would probably like this guy better because of his SIGs if that shot is good enough. All right, let's keep it moving. So this is the free Julius Irving. And um, so we see here, he's got a 93 strength with his, which is excellent. And then he's got, I believe the same shot. Let's see here. So we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at his oldest dark matter. There we go, electric set. No, that is the pink diamond. Let's try that again. All right, so this is, no, that's the goat stratosphere. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so let's see what's different. So this is identical. Uh, this card still plays right now, by the way. So if these cards are duplicates, that's totally fine because he's still excellent. He's still a top tier uh, shooting guard in the game. There's nothing wrong with him. As you can see, by these outstanding stats across the board. He's just great. You know, 92 interior defense, 96 lateral quickness. He, he's a monster. He's been a monster this entire time. Uh, so just because he's older and he is getting a little long in the tooth as far as my team goes, doesn't mean he's outdated. This has been a trend with the two guards this year. Kobe played forever. All of the Ron Artest played forever. Julius Irving basically plays forever. So he's in that line. So let's see, animation-wise, yeah, he's identical. So now I'm really curious what's different about the new one. <clears throat> this is the same card. This is the, this is the exact same card, I believe. I don't, I don't see anything that's different across the board. What about badges? Any new badges? Uh, okay, so Agent 3 is Hall of Fame versus... Uh, actually, let's get to new gen. Okay, so, so he has a couple of Hall of Fame badges versus gold badges. So if you have the old one, then play the old one. If, you know, if, if you didn't pull any of the new Dr. J's. But speaking of the new Dr. J's, let's see what they're talking about. Go to Irving and we'll just grab any of these. All right, so what's different? It looks like he just has the badge upgrades from the main one. Okay, animation wise, identical. Well, actually, um, he gets the Kyrie Irving dribble style. He gets the Chris Paul moving step back over the Kyrie Irving, which is an upgrade for sure. Um, I mean, jo Dr. J moves so well. I, I, I'm not gonna say I didn't notice it, but his behind the back into the shot is so good that I, I really didn't use the step back with him a whole lot. He has a moving pro upgrade. So those are the two upgrades it looks like. See, attributes wise, what's better? I mean, he's so, he's so good statistically that these plus ones and plus, like a plus three help defense, like this stuff is not really relevant, to be honest. A 97 ball handle versus a 95, this is cosmetic. I'm, I can't call the card identical because the dribbles that were upgraded are big right those are these are two big upgrades for the dribbling but i think for a lot of the community he's largely the same i will say if you do get the new dr j what will make him feel a lot better is the fact that you have this crisp ball hop back that's the main thing because this allows you to basically i don't want to say cheese but it's a very very effective tactic to hop back and shoot a three-pointer right and like we talk a lot about the jamal murray behind the back which is really good but people we understand that the LeBron hotback, aka the John Wall hotback, aka the Chris Paul hotback, that they're very good. They've been in the game for a while. They are super strong for both shooting threes and for driving the basketball. The Jamal Murray is only good for creating threes, but that hotback and the snatchback also works off the L2 cancel. So if you know how to L2 cancel, which might be a skill that, that might not be in use anymore next year, we'll see if it's, uh, if it's still there. But if you know how to L2 cancel, uh, this you can eat a lot off of this Chris Paul. He was already a primary ball handler, Dr. J. But, um, you know, he, he will now be 
that much better of a primary ball handler. So he went from excellent to excellent. So, th so there we go. The one thing I will say that's really the upgrade is if you get point guard Dr. J. If you pull point guard doc, talk, Dr. J, you're, you're living real good because he'll probably want, be one of the few point guards that for me really fits into the point guard role at the very highest level the way Shea did. I actually think Lonzo Ball is really, really good in this game. Uh, and what I mean is a traditional point guard that moves really, really well. Not a giant that like, it's cool that you have a big card, but he doesn't really create shots as easily. These cards, these six, 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 seven cards are basically perfect. That's the perfect size in this game to create at the very highest level. I think once you get taller than six, seven, you start to, you start to compromise a little bit in shot creation. It doesn't mean they're not great. I have the invincible LeBron at point guard. He's awesome, right? But most of those cards, it's a little bit different. You're just not quite as quick, not quite as snappy. And uh, yeah, so I think getting point guard Dr. J is the real W. The rest of these Dr. J's are so similar to the old one that unless you're spamming the Chris Paul, you're not really seeing the big difference. All right, keeping it moving. So we already looked at this, uh, so we don't need to look at Dr. J anymore. All right, Dino Raja, as my boy D DVG would say, Dino Raja. So um. So yeah, so Dino Raja uh, looking good. Don, I mean, Dino Raja is already really good, right? Like he's already really good. I don't have a problem with this shot at all. Donovan Mitchell's base is just fine. It's not super great, but it's not bad in any kind of way. I think it's an above average base, solid speed. Jared Vanderbilt's upper, I don't have a problem with. I mean, again, I thought the Dino Raja card before was really good. The pink diamond's really good. In fact, I actually think this is one of the few pink diamonds that if, you, you know, gun to your head, if you had to play it, you'd be like, you know what? He kind of held it down for me. Um, now we see here massive stats upgrades to the hundred overall in pretty much all of these areas. But, and this is what I'm talking about. If you actually look at the slashing, he had 90, everything on the slashing. So he's really good at that. And with that long wingspan that, um, wait, am I bugging? Why does he have a seven, three wingspan versus a seven eleven wingspan? Is that a typo? I'm very curious about that because you definitely notice that seven eleven wingspan on the pink diamond. So we'll see what's going on with this. It, it, I don't know if this is a typo or what, but we got to do our detective work and see if he is the same character model. That's going to be extremely important because if he doesn't have Dino Rogers character model, that definitely hurts the card a little bit. Now, even with that said, he's still a very, very good 100 overall. The shot's going to be faster. He has Pro 2 laner, massive upgrade. A Jokic hop jumper over normal is, is I would say it's a, a big upgrade. I do think the normal ju hop jumper is really good. Uh, who was it? I think Dimework actually recent, recently did a video on a normal two-hop jumper. Uh, shout out to Dimework. Although I will say, I've been telling y'all about the normal two-hop jumper for months. So way to catch up, Dimework. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you go just subscribe to him if you haven't already. But yeah, John Wall moving step back. Big, big upgrade right there. And Trey Escape over to Zach Levine. Big upgrade. And again, this is on a 611 card, which hopefully has the good wingspan. And the Kyrie Irving dribble style. So yeah, Dino Raja looks excellent across the board, I would say. Um, yeah, so no, no complaints about Dino Raja. He, lo he, looks, he looks really great. You know, massive upgrade over the Pink Diamond, obviously, because the 100 overall. But yeah, this Pink Diamond definitely held it down and still probably pretty good in salary cap. Okay, Jonathan Isaac. I mean, we know what to expect. Jonathan Isaac's outstanding. He's going to be one of the best small forwards in the game. He already has a really great shot. His base is uh, commonly used on big men in the game because one of the smoother big men shots in the game and on very quick but you can't do in my career you can't make a big man like very quick shot um you'll be able to do well i mean they, they they can do here so it'll be even faster than it normally is the sigs look mostly perfect except for the steph curry behind the back which definitely knocks him down a level for me I, I, honestly it knocks him down a big level for me because even though the rest of these sigs are perfect and he should be really good i shouldn't say perfect because kobe bryant uh, signature size up is good, but it's not perfect. But yeah, good, good to great on all of the other sigs. Now the curry slide because he's six ten is going to be better than it is on a point guard. That's the way the curry slide is this year. If you're on a really small guard, the curry slide is actually kind of bad. If you're on a, I, I shouldn't say bad, but it's like it's definitely more towards mid, right? There are a lot of behind the backs that are better than the curry slide. It's still usable especially if you has he can't a lot of it and you keep going the other way it is definitely usable but there's a really big stop and pause and it doesn't move you that far if you l2 cancel it it's a little better 
but still it doesn't move you that far now on a 611 on these larger cards with the curry slide they move further because their frames are bigger and they are harder to contest when they shoot so they're more open so it will be better on him and he's still a really good card i'm not downplaying i'm just saying if i saw a card that had the jamal murray behind the back and the rest of the stuff was similar i'm running to that card and then he's obsolete but then he just goes on the shelf that's really what it is for me is the he can be outdone by a card that just has that one super important sig that's way way better and there's like four behind the backs that are really that i would really prefer over the curry slide that having been said everything else is absolutely meant perfect and defensively he, and you know he's 100 overall so they're all supposed to play with great defense but if you play 2k you know for a fact that it is not the same um a jonathan isaac card is going to play better defense than a card that has basically identical uh stats because he's jonathan isaac that's just the way it goes so um nick young outstanding point guard he fits into what i was talking about with dr j where basically if you know if you get this card at the point guard position and you really like to create as a point guard because he's 100 overall and he doesn't have the weaknesses on defense this card is a phenomenal addition i think to most people's teams now he does have the michael jordan dribble style interesting d fox signature size up's great we know the rest of these sigs are absolutely outstanding um d book crossovers are right so he's got the james harden moving step back too hmm. so he's got the james harden shuffle i do believe he he was i think he was the first card to get the jamal murray behind the back into like a really cheesy jumper and this is a cheesy jumper. Ben Shepard, Carmelo Anthony is outstanding. Although, did he have Kobe upper before? Let me look. Let me compare him to the other Nick Young. I feel like I'm seeing some different stuff. Maybe I'm bugging. No, he had Carmelo before. Carmelo is actually similar to Kobe, though. Uh, the upper is, in my opinion, similar to Kobe. And in fact, I have a friend, uh, shout out to B, who, who really loved Carmelo Anthony's shot. So he used it on his My Career character. And I tried it out and I was like, you know what? This actually isn't bad. This is, is, is similar in a lot of ways to Kobe, but it, it is not Kobe. So he's got Kobe Ryan leaner though, which is also really, really great. Pro hop jumper, don't love that. So I'll tell you what, I big up Nick Young because he is great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's not great, but his SIGs are just like a little shaved off at the upper edges, right? Like whereas Dr. J has like a lot of these absolutely pitch perfect SIGs, and some of the actually dark matters have some of these like pitch perfect sigs he has a couple of them that i think are a little bit worse than than the other cards that having been said nothing that i said in the beginning it, my mind does not change on that i do still think that nick young at the point guard position is going to be absolute top of the heap uh particularly as a shot creator when i talk about the point guard position i mean if you're trying to create with your point guard if you're if, if your point guard is more of a defender catch and shoot and you're running your offense through your two three and four then obviously uh i mean nick young's still going to guard the position but if you want to guard goat kareem at the point guard then get yourself a ben simmons uh, now maybe not ben get lebron james or something like that i say get like you can just go out and get them because we know what's going on with uh not being able to get cards but you know what i'm saying if you have them in your collection if you got them from a locker code or if you're pulling those team usa packs for lebron i, I believe lebron is in there um then i would play lebron in that role over nick young because LeBron is still a great scorer. He is still great at everything. But Nick Young, with that behind the back, in terms of coming off the of screens and stuff like that, Nick Young, I, I believe, would be superior, as would uh, Dr. J for that particular role. All right, Julius Randle. Power forward, small forward, my guy. Uh, Animation-wise, he still has the same shot, which for me is not a problem. It's not going to be super-duper elite. He has the same base. But I don't think his shot was trash. I actually don't think his shot's been trash all year in any form, even in you know, play now. I don't have an issue with Julius Randle's jumper. I feel like once you get used to it, you're pretty good with it. And there are a lot, I have a lot of friends who play play now online. Seriously, a lot of the sim guys, and they have 100% said the same thing. Where it's like Julius Randle is actually really cold in this game. And if you you know if you know you know he's one of those things. But yeah, he normal leaner is a little unfortunate. Jokic hop jumper is outstanding. The sigs basically immaculate as long as he has the perfect behind the back. He he has had a bad behind the back before that has not been one of his strengths it does not look like he has the same behind the back it looks like he's probably got the jamal murray if this is the murray this card is outstanding the only thing about this card is and i know it's julius randall so we shouldn't expect this but if he could play two three i would like him more because he's basically a one position card at the three but i do think he'll be able to defend 
anybody at the three. I, I don't think the oversized three threes are going to be that big of a factor against Julius Randle. I think he's a big enough card to guard the position uh, in general. Although if you are running larger small forwards, he might feel like a bit of a downgrade. But I like the Julius Randle card. Call it Knicks bias if you want. I don't care. I don't care. So uh, if we got 100 overall Julius Irving, is there anything different about him? Nope. Looks pretty much the same across the board. And I mean, you know, he's great before he's great now. Let's see. Let's just double check. Be thorough. Compare him to the GOAT version. Uh, what's different? Nothing is different at all. Man, I, every time I do these videos, I'm so tempted to just rant about how bad of an idea these GOAT cards are. I mean, these like GOAT and 100 overall cards are. Look at just how close he is to the Dark Matter. It's the same card, guys. The same card. All of this 100 overall, most of it is coming from Shot IQ. Every, this is all placebo. It's intangibles. It's, it's a plus 74. If you take that away, so he's plus 112, right? So if you take away the 74 from here and the 74 from there, what are we really talking about? It's just a little sprinkling of stats you're not going to feel and mostly can close the gap with a shoe and a coach this is the same card it is like if you get if you pull 100 overall julius irving don't get hyped i th actually think the best julius irving the first obviously is the goat card which we haven't looked at but the best is going to be the goat card we'll see what he's doing but the second best is the point guard dark matter that's the one you want is point guard dark matter julius irving forget that 100 overall he's the same as the rest of them. all right uh carlos boozer who we talked about from triple threat co-op let's see what he's talking about Ooh, interesting shot. Romeo Langford, Colin Sexton. Who else has the Colin Sexton upper? Glenn Rice with the Colin Sexton upper. Interesting. Who has a... This should be fine, actually. This should be fine. It's, it's gonna, I think it's going to be maybe a little bit on the slow side. With the Sexton upper, I think he'll be all right. I think he'll be all right. Uh, Pro Tulina, Nikola Jokic. Uh, he's 6'9 at the small forward, which is pretty good. Excellent six, really excellent six. Uh, this looks like a reasonable W. LeBron James layup style, excellent dunks. And, and we know, let's see badge-wise, is he fully complete? Yeah, he's basically 100% badge-wise. Look at next gen. Yeah, no complaints here. Even the stuff that he has on gold, these are badges you wouldn't notice the difference. Well, maybe break starter, you notice the difference between gold and Hall of Fame. You do. Uh, that is a reasonably, this is a reasonable upgrade. Not that you'll, you know, experience it that much because he'll probably be at the three. So you're not going to be chucking it up court as much as you would with a center or a power forward. He has a one position card. I think at 6'9", you're not trying to play him at the power forward at this point in the cycle. There are so many just David Robinsons and, and Hakeems and, you know, bowl bowls. And it's just like outstanding power forwards that are way taller than him. But I think at the small forward, he can hold his own against anybody. And overall, looks like a looks like a W. All right, let's see what they did to Julius Irving. So... He's got the same shot. Now, here's the thing. In, in defense of that, I don't know if, like, he needed another shot. He can't play point guard. Hold on. So what's going on here? What did they change? Now I'm really curious. What did you actually change? Let's go to one of the dark matters. Let's compare it to the dark matter. So same thing as 100 overall. Just none of these stats matter. Uh, it's basically identical. Okay, so he gets... This is not an upgrade this is a this is a side grade all right uh this is an upgrade the defox from the kobe bryant but it's not like a you know a great crazy upgrade if he had the john morant that would be different right if he had lebron james that would be different but the Aaron fox breakdown moves are pretty good uh this is not an upgrade moving step back from chris paul to john wall oh my my career character i've actually switched to chris paul right like yes the john wall snatchback is snappier but the Chris Paul doesn't sabotage you. So it's a six in one hand, half dozen in the other. It's a preference. Um, yeah, I don't. This is the worst GOAT card I've, I've seen. Not because he's bad, because Julius Irving is one of the best cards in the game all year, right? Uh, on the If he had more cards, if he had like a Sapphire and, and a Ruby, like earlier in the year, he would definitely be my two guard on the all my team team, you know? But I, I feel like including. Somebody who who had a, a Ruby card is, is more accurate for early, early in the year because uh, Amethyst came a little later. But and so he's great. Don't get me wrong. And he, he gets the Jokic over to normal two. That's preference. Like Jokic is great, but normal two is excellent. 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 Um, hop jumper. 
Yeah, no, point guard. All right, now this might be a hot take. We go back to the beginning here. Out of all of the Julius Irvings, by far, in my opinion, the one you want to grab, the Holy Grail, is point guard Julius Irving. Two guard Julius Irving, whether he's GOAT or Dark Matter, even the free one is just another Julius Irving, which is great. He's a great card. The old stratosphere Julius Irving still plays. But this is the game changer if you, if you grab him. This is the one that improves your team, in my opinion. The rest of these guys are, they're fine, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they, they go, they, I, man, hold on. I got to look at this again. So compared to his, to his 100 overall, what is different? I need to look at this now. Like, what? So we expect this to be the same. The animations wise, it's just a Kobe to the D Fox. The John Wall moving crossovers is a nice upgrade over whatever he had. This is the same. And the, the Jokic. So it's basically the same. Oh man, this is this is a weird, weird goat card. Weird, weird goat card. I think so. It's it's funny because like he was, I think the problem is he was so good, it's very hard to improve him. Because even if you give him Patty Base, he's already such a good shooter. I know people love Patty Base, and I've, I have Patty Base on, on one of my My Career characters. I'm, you know, whatever, starter three or veteran one, whatever you get it at, I got it, right? And I used it, and it's fine, but I went back to my T Mac players, right? Because it's like, it's cool, and I, I get it if you're a small guard. But there are other bases in the game that are really good, and you can shoot great with those bases. Like, is Patty the cheesiest? Sure, because the shot contest is so hard, which honestly, I think I hope they take out next year. I don't want a shot that just magically is hard to contest. That's stupid, right? Um, but outside of giving him Patty base, which would have only been a marginal upgrade, there was really nowhere to go with this card, you know? So, yeah, I mean... I guess the gold card is a tiny bit better, but I, st I stand on what I said. I think the point guard Dr. J is the one you want the most out of those cards. The dark matters look like they're really, really good. I have to see all of these jump shots in action because all of their jump shots are questionable. But if their jumpers play on very quick, then these guys are all solid. Um, the hundred overalls, again, all solid. I'm after looking closely at his SIGs, I'm slightly disappointed in Nick Young because I would personally probably rather have this Dr. J over this Nick Young, even though they're both, they're both great and they're both basically interchangeable. But if I had to coin flip, I would probably pick Dr. J because of just his frame. He just feels bigger than Nick Young. I hate when people say, well, he's got the Afro, so he's bigger. The Afro doesn't block shots, but... On the court, uh, what is, is it a wingspan thing? He's got a seven foot wingspan. What's your wingspan, Dr. J? And he's only got a 6'11 wingspan. He should be a smaller player model. Uh, so maybe I'm bugging, but I don't know. I, I prefer Dr. J over Nick Young, even though Nick Young is very, very good. Um, Dino's fine. Jonathan Isaac's amazing, but he's got the curry slide. Julius Randle's pretty good, but he's small. He's a little on the small side. And, you know, his shot is not the best shot in the world. Boozer's not in the collection. So, I'm going to be honest with you, this set, even though all of these cards are good, I don't think any of them are game changers. Um, nothing in this set is like end of the season. I can't believe they put this out kind of thing. They're good. And if you need any of these positions filled, then by all means, you know, spend your resources as necessary. But if you already have a really good team, I, I don't know what you really want from this collection because there's no way to get this point guard Julius Irving. You could pull a million Julius Irvings, including the GOAT, and never see the one that you actually want, which for me, the card I would want most in this collection, personally, number one, this is just me. I'm not saying it's the best card, but for me personally, I want this point guard Julius Irving above everybody. No questions asked. That's the one that I want. Now, outside of that, Jonathan Isaac's outstanding. Uh, I'm really curious what this Jonathan Bender is talking about, too, if his shot is good enough. And then George Murasan looks like a really good giant at his size. Uh, Nick Young would be in there as well. But the rest of these Julius Irvings, the free one is, is good enough. I'm going to be honest with you. The free Julius Irving is good enough. But that's going to shut it down for me, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And if you have, as always, thanks for your support. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.